everything, with no signs of anything getting in or out, yet they were torn to pieces. That is a bit concerning. So either the whatever's managed to turn them into king guacamole's decided to lock him in afterwards. Uh, here's or the thing, guys. Something. Guys, the room was barricaded from the outside. Mm, it was actually yeah. Which means that they were someone was trying to keep them in there, not they were trying to keep stuff out. Right. And based on the wounds that you're describing, it sounds more like something came out from them as opposed to something came at them, possibly. Just Buster. I've seen this movie, too! Watch the shadows! Alright, so... Okay. So, this still doesn't explain the fact that, um, well, we still have the, um... We still have the basement. And that seems to be the most notable part of this entire mansion. This manor, that is. <clears throat> well, might as well go check it out, then. Well, Dotha, do you know any way to dispel this darkness? Nope. Well, fuck you, then. <laughs> you useless what asshole. What are you talking about? Alright. Well... Then we're gonna have to bite the bullet and attack the darkness. I know. No, yes. go into the darkness. We'll we'll try to find a way into the cellar from the first floor as opposed to the outside. Mm -hmm. See if maybe there's some different way in there. Maybe we have you to know, just turn on the lights. Quite. I, that was a joke. Obviously, turning on the lights won't help. I. Anyways, you guys ready? Well, what are you gonna do? <sighs> yeah. All right. Well, let's uh, geographically on like uh, find where the uh, the basement is, like just the cellar. Like, is it like encompassing the entire first floor? Is there another way down? Uh, you look around the first floor and you see what appears to be a stairway down. You think that's a the stairway down to the cellar? Yeah. All right, John, smash the floor. <laughs> that's an old tactic. Smash a hole in the floor. I want to see if we could see down there. Okay, at least that's a strength test. Okay, John manages to punch right into the marble floor underneath him, and he hurts his hand. I know a marble. Oh, no, you just didn't ask me where you were. You were just like punch the floor. All right, punch the floor. It's wooden. I don't know. Kinda punch the marble floor. I thought I'd take you from you. <laughs> oh, you wanted to punch a wooden floor. Well, it doesn't matter. You rolled a thirteen. Yeah. All right. Well, then we'll just try the door then. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm denying that ever happened. <laughs> I'm denying that ever happened. Yeah, I wasn't was punching like, the floor. I was knocking to let them know we're coming. Punch the floor. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it hurt. Okay, bam. Oh. No. Right. Why did you punch marble, you retard? <laughs> uh, all right. So you guys are gonna head downstairs. Uh, all right. I think we're just we're gonna have to bite the. We're just going to have to do what we can and just see if we can find any solutions down there. Or see any answers, at least. Now, hold on. When I touched the floor earlier, you said that I got something on my hand. Could I... Now that we have natural sunlight to look at it, can I see what that was that was on my hand? Uh, this looks to be some sort of gooey mixture between... Uh, you would uh, you would guess it's some sort of mixture between phlegm and blood. Oh, oh Wonderful. Well, you know, you know, it's it's. I'm all for being progressive, gentlemen. First, honestly, you know, <laughs> really, I'll go first. Oh, I mean, thank you, John. Are you going to take? Oh, all right. Are you taking the entrance you saw on the first floor or the base or the cellar door outside? Um, what do you think? I think let's let's take, let's see. Let's see the, the alternate. We don't know about. Yeah, let's take the let's take the entrance from the first floor. And see if there's any difference there. Okay. Okay, you're going to open. Uh, you're going to take the one on the first floor, not the cellar yeah. on the outside. Yeah. No. That's, okay. Yeah. Well, uh, and John's leading the way. You said. Yes, yeah. but I want somebody with magic behind me to start checking for arcane shit. Uh, oh, right. that means I'm probably gonna have to be at the back. All right, guys, don't worry about it. I'll be at the back. <laughs> uh, John, you open the door, and curiously, you find it to be unlocked and unblocked. Um, as you start heading down the, the stairs, you notice that it's, well, it's, it's kind of bright in here, almost, uh, kind of oddly bright, 
as you head down the stairs into the cellar, you notice that natural sunlight seems to be pouring through the, the small slits of windows. It is oddly bright until you turn around and you see at the other end of the cellar what appears to be just a black cube uh, just blocking uh, that part of the cellar. Hmm. So that would be where the, the exit is. At the other end, yes. Yeah. Phlegm and blood still on the floor here, though? No, in fact, this is just uh, seems to be standard concrete bottom. Oh, that's... Did we enter that cube earlier? You suspect you did. When we were in the darkness, so we have been in it, so it's not something that's just going to try and grab and numb us. Are you still hmm. there? I'm going to listen closer. To listen hear... closer? Yeah, because I heard somebody say, are you still there? Oh, so... no, I was just quoting the chat room. Oh, yeah. I was like, oh, what the <laughs> fuck? I, I, I didn't right, hear right, breathing no. before. <laughs> yeah, the chat room was pretty much freaking out. <laughs> all right, so, so potentially that darkness over there could be, well, just hiding something. Because everything else seems okay down here, except for well, that particular. <sighs> you know, it's worked before. You want to just fire arrows into it and see if anything happens? <laughs> if you wish, I'll fire one. I don't like to waste them on things that are not um, our enemies, but... Well, they, I, I'm just curious if there's anything in that darkness beyond... Could try... The have we, have we checked it? Obviously, we know the, the we've, we've worked out ourselves that the uh, the darkness is, is magical. Obviously, we can see that it's not natural. But is, yeah, there sort yeah, of, right. is there any sort of power source, or is it generating itself? Or well, don't ask me. Uh, well, anyways, we don't know. We haven't investigated. Yeah, uh, okay. uh, how, about, we're, we're just going to shoot you first. <laughs> about, well, about how large is it, Jason? Uh, you'd estimate it to be about. This one's actually kind of big. This one's about, you'd say, 40 feet across. I'm going okay. to do an arcana check to determine if I'm familiar with this uh, enchantment. Uh, okay. 27. You are not familiar with this. No, that's not a good right. sign. How about this? Um, we all try to scan the floor, you know, by... Uh, going straight across and see if we fought, run into anything. I mean, see if you can start. search around. I mean, it's kind of blind walking, but... Yeah, it looks like you. It looks... Unless there is something in the darkness. Well, if there is, we haven't run into it yet. That we could try be. attacking the darkness with some sort of light. Um, Kathleen, you mentioned earlier that you noticed a rather unusual smell. Is it, just, is it focused on this darkness? I believe it is. Yes, it is. Okay. Yes. So, there is something, something about it, either about it or within it, that's you know, you're that's really putting you off. So, and I Does figure it it's smell at all like what we found in the church. Mm, stronger, much stronger. Does it have any reaction to that fancy tramp stamp you've got? You mean her hand tattoo? Yes. It's not a tramp stamp at all. It's <laughs> entirely yes. different location on the body. <laughs> all right. It has to be close. <laughs> uh, does my tattoo glow? You put your hand up towards the darkness, but nothing happens. All, all right. right. If this is someone similar to what we fought in the church... Oh, fuck it, we're dirt before. Team, that sucks! Does anything happen? Does no. anything get pissed off them, spewing anger towards Team? You, you yell, Team, that sucks at the darkness! A few minutes later, nothing's happened. Uh, you suspect maybe nothing is going to happen. Um, let's. I'm gonna. I'm gonna keep my halberd dry. I'm just gonna try to walk through the darkness and just feel through until I either come back out into the main room or. Come back out the cellar door. To grab him and prevent him from walking into the darkness. <laughs> no. Okay. Don't do we, that. Okay, we walked into it before. Yeah, but we didn't have one person walk blindly in without anybody right there behind them. Okay, then. Somebody get the we robot. Either... 
we can either stand around here and idly chatter about and contemplate what it is, or we can investigate it. And I think the only way we can investigate this is from within. Well, if I apply sun's glow you know. to someone's weapon, do they want to try and attack it? Try and slice the darkness? Oh. Uh, let, me, let me just try this. Uh, I'm just going to use my hand of radiance and just kind of fire it into the, into the dark cube. Okay, you fire your hands of radiance into the dark cube. All right. Does the dark respond because it's light and stuff? Cube didn't do anything. The only other thing I can think of myself no. is that there might be some sort of like, like room, like you can't see into it. But if you stood inside and light up, you might be able to see inside. If that's the case, then the rock that we threw out it threw in there earlier should still be glowing when I walk in. Hmm. So. so. So right, let, let him just else? walk in real quick to satisfy the curiosity there. But yeah. I'm honestly starting to think there might be nothing in here at all. We didn't he- we didn't sense it was evil, just dark. Mm-hmm. All right. <clears throat> I walk on into the dark cube. All right, you walk into the dark cube, and with your eyes open, you notice that there is a faint glow on the floor. This appears to be the rock that you had thrown in. Uh, it's ca- a very very faint glow, though. You know? I can I um I if I try, I'm just have to call back and say I could see the I could see the rock of the floor um not much else though and I'm just going to try to essentially just try to walk straight through and see if it comes out at the um base of the cellar or the uh, the stairs of the cellar yeah you walk out of the you walk out of the cube on the opposite end and there are the stairs mm-hmm. okay well that seems to me well obvious enough you do notice though that it is kind of odd to walk on it as if you're Almost walking on like I don't know something weird. Yeah, the surface doesn't feel natural or feel comfortable to walk. No, on. The, the the surface is kind of uh, wobbly, if you will. Mm. All right, um, John, attack that floor. <laughs> I um, let's see. I look back for a moment, and um, hmm. the only way. I, um, okay. I'm going to then attempt to walk back through and return back to where the rest of the party is in the in the cellar. You so. do. Okay. Well, I didn't run into anything there. I the floor felt odd, as we all noted before, and I noticed a glow in there. But um, other than that, I really can't say much about what's going on in there. It's unnatural. Right. It's unusual. It's uncomfortable. But okay, this is well, standing out way too much to be nothing. Well, I mean, even if it is nothing, what do we gain by finding out what is in there? You know, there's nothing alive in there. There's no survivors in there. There's nothing that we can sense evil in there. It just seems to be some big cube of darkness. And yes, I am very curious about it, but at the same time, we're not doing anything by just throwing rocks in it and walking around. Yes. Yeah. Honestly, I think we might be best heading back to uh, or investigating other areas right now and Maybe talking with uh, some of the mage. No, there's no mages in Warmwick. Plus, mm-hmm. fuck mages. We'll talk to the clerics or something. Was there any other room in the house that needed investigating? There was a big empty room that Kathleen didn't look in. At the yeah, outside there's Kathleen. Uh, yes, I believe so. There was a big empty room I didn't look in. Because <laughs> it was big and empty. Well, it seemed empty from the hall. It seemed empty from the hall. We can go investigate that room. <laughs> and let us. Do that. See you, Cube. So you guys trundle on up to the second floor, and you go to the room where Kathleen had been, and you notice in the where Kathleen had not been, and you notice in the room that while the opposite end of the room is very empty, uh, on the opposite side of each of the uh, on each side of uh, the door of where you step in, there are two what appear to be arcane circles on either side of the door. On the wall next to those arcane circles appear to be some sort of diagram. Um, on the left side, you see a man, uh, what appears to be a man sleeping on an altar. Uh, it, this appears to have been uh, sort of drawn in, in blood or red ink. And on the right-hand side, there appears to be a, a, f- a candle just burning, very strangely. And mm. All right, so this is on the second floor? In the room you didn't investigate, yeah. Well, not you all right. investigating. I'm going to, I guess, call down to the others. Uh, Dother might want to come up here to see this. Okay. I'll, I'm going to fly down and see if I can't pick Dother up and 
bring her up there. <laughs> bring her. 